Yes, yes, okay, so today we're back from Chutu. You know how it is, Chutu Tuesday, and today you are learning a high level acker. There's a couple of variations for it, but this is what it looks like. Okay, so that is what the acker looks like. It's a nice one. You may have seen Anna's Kami do it recently. It looks a bit like this. However, another legend that I saw do it who actually inspired me to first do it was Yufuk. Here's him doing it. He's an OG legend in the game. Make sure you are following him. Legend. But let's get into tutorial. There's three main steps. Okay, so step one, as you can see, is an inside Cesar Aka flick up. I've done tutorials on this before. Here's one in the iCard. However, just break it down quickly. My strong foot's my right foot. Weak foot on the ball. We're gonna roll it back at a diagonal. Not dead straight. We're gonna go from a diagonal, come across. We're gonna come under the ball, knock it with this part of our foot. It's gonna flick up. We do so with a bent leg. So we come under it with a bent leg. And then we're gonna straighten the leg. And that's gonna cause it to flick. When we do it fast, it's kind of like we're kicking it into ourselves. We change the direction, one, two. So that is a bent leg under, straighten. Yeah. It's actually really noisy to the car, but we're still going to teach it. So, roll it back, bent leg under, straighten it. And the aim for this move is to get it hip height in front of us, about there. So just practice flicking it up, catching it. Ooh, that's a bit fast. We want it to loop gently. We don't want it to go too high. It might be a bit high for this trick. We need to make sure that it comes across our body and then back. So left to right. If you're left footed, right to left. So we're just here. But we want it a little bit lower. This is a move that I still find hard to get consistent. So if you just do this as a warm up every day, it will definitely help your accuracy. Ooh. It needs to come across a little more. And that's about it. That's step one. Step two is going to be the step one. Let's get it. Okay, so step two itself is just about getting the revolution with your left foot. We're going to let it bounce for now. It's an awkward move to get used to. However, what's going to happen? We're going to do the flick up. Straight away, we put our strong foot on the floor. This allows us to lift our weak foot. As the ball gets to its max height, there's a stopping point. Just as it gets to its max height, that's when we want to come over it. As the ball starts going down, our left leg goes down with it. So. There, and we just want to get over it. Okay, so that is it. We're just going to get used to doing this flick up. If you're finding it difficult, the reason is it's probably because the flick up's in the wrong place. There's many times where I won't attempt the step over because I've done the flick wrong. If the flick goes over too much, actually, I was okay. If the flick goes too high, you're probably just going to hit it. If it goes too low, it's going to be pretty hard to get the acker afterwards. So we want to get it to a medium height, I think hip height. So we're just going to have it in front of us, cross our body up. There. Ooh. But now it's time for step three. Let's get into the acker. Okay, so step three is about finishing the acker. What we're going to do is an in-air acker. Ooh, just like that. I'm gonna do that a bit better. So it's like doing, ooh, taking that trash. It's, okay, final step is like doing the, the acker, but we're gonna do it in the air. So we're gonna flick it up, and we're gonna do it. That's how we're gonna practice. So obviously we're used to doing this one. It's just about now trying to get that in the air. What I recommend is doing a flick up with your strong foot and then doing the acker for practice. Just like that. So we're just gonna repeat this. Flick up, acker. Flick up. Ooh, that one wasn't clean. Flick up, acker. To clean if it goes left, then right. It's not so clean if it kind of goes on that side. We want it to go boom, bam. We want it. Also, a kind of cool way to practice this is just by going one, two. Looks pretty snazzy. I want to see that one in the combo as well. Damn, why? Okay. Okay, so now that we can do Akka, Akka, it's time to add the step over in the middle. We know that we need to get the first Akka high to get around it at the max point, and then it's just about getting it right to hit the acker in the air without it bouncing. However, Naya Kirby, insane baller, he dropped this acker. Okay. 
and I think this act is crazy. Obviously, it's not as good as doing it without the bounce, it's not as difficult. However, I think this is a great way to practice. So, for an added bonus, I recommend doing the flick up, going around it, letting it bounce, then doing the acca. So, it looks a bit like this flick up, around, acca. So, you've got a lot more time to do it, but you still make it look crazy. Once we've got this with a bounce a couple of times, you'll definitely be able to get it without a bounce with a little extra practice. Then, of course, it'll look like this. That is the two, the main difference between doing it with a bounce and without. See, with a bounce, you can do it a lot littler. However, without a bounce, you have to hop higher to do the step over. So to hop higher, once you do the acca, put your strong foot down. As you do the step over, you can actually hop. With the bounce, you don't really need to hop. You can just kind of put your leg over. However, very important pro tip that when you're doing it without the bounce, that once you do the acca, you hop, go high, switch legs. So you're gonna hop from your strong foot. You're gonna do a step over with your weak foot. You're gonna land on your weak foot do the acrobat right or strong the difference is you can do it without hopping for the bounce just like that little hop but without the bounce much higher that bike was the wrong time as you can see filming in London is annoying so but you should be able to get it down now that's all the tips I'd say as long as the ball is in the right place it's came across it's in the middle you get your leg high you jump as you land find a lacquer you will hit it and once you do hit, make sure to tag on Instagram at Panda. You know how we do. Post on there every day as well. If you're not following, man, get following. However, there are also loads of crazy variations that you can do with this move. I've been doing some for a while now. They look a bit like this. So that is it for today's tutorial. We've had to up the level because you lot are crazy. You're getting better and better. I'm seeing your skills. Keep it up. I'm impressed. If you've learned something, please smash that like button. Please comment if you hate the cars. I hate the cars. <laughs> uh, please subscribe if you hate the cars and uh, make sure you hit the bell because we're going to be doing tutorial every week and this Sunday video, banger. Let's get it. Ooh. That's a little variation for you lot to try.